How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make fingerprints procedurally all done here in the nodes. As you see, this is what we're going to be creating right over here today. And it also works just the same way here in EV. So whatever engine you prefer, it works in either engine. So whatever engine you prefer, it works in both engines just the same. But first, let me shout out Sketchfab. Sketchfab has an incredible online store where you can buy and sell 3D assets. It's an incredible artistic community on there. So many good quality things you can buy, sell, lots of really good things on there. Go check them out in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and make that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all these nodes here and I'm going to delete them and just start out with your default principled BSDF right here. All right, so for the basis of the fingerprint shape, we're going to be using Voronoi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift A, pop in a VOR, Voronoi texture, and we're going to get two of these. So you select it right here, Shift D, bring it down. I'm actually going to highlight these, hit G to bring them back a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is here's F1. You can see the default settings right over here. We're going to change this to smooth F1. But before we do anything, make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. It comes default in Blender. If you click on this, Control T pops that there. And then I'm going to take this mapping node and put it right there in the Voronoi texture. And I'm going to use the object coordinate here on the texture coordinate. And I'm bringing these back a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a math node math node here and we're going to use subtract to join these two together so I'm going to go right here to subtract and then we're going to get the distance right here on both of these and then we're going to plug it in right here now you're going to see this really cool thing happen so here's where you can kind of see the smooth f1 working if you see the hard edge that's this Voronoi texture if you see this really gradient smooth that's this one and that's these two connecting now we need to make this a really hard edge similar to if you were to use the constant uh, selector on the color ramp so what I'm gonna do is add another math node so I'm gonna duplicate this one pop it in right here I'm gonna change subtract here to less than now less than is just like a constant on a color ramp so if we bring in so if you play with your value bring it closer to say this then you're gonna get this shape right here which really looks cool and i think with abstract design and things like that this is an incredible really cool looking shape that you can play with uh, so this is the the fingerprint basically this is how that we're making the initial shape for our fingerprint so what i'm going to do is if you hold down control and slide it to the left you'll get a smoother movement so that's going to be our fingerprints for now i bring bring my scale on both of these to three because uh, I want the fingerprints to be a little bit bigger and not quite so many on the screen, kind of a realistic amount for the screen. Now we're going to start to distort the way this looks. And we're going to do this here in the vector line of our mapping node. So to make this sort of fingerprint uh, pattern, which isn't going to be physically correct fingerprint pattern, it's just supposed to suggest a fingerprint pattern. Um, so what we're going to do that is a Musgrave texture. So Shift A, Musgrave, and pop that in right there. Now we get all these crazy lines. Uh, we don't want to use the whole thing and we need to use a specific uh, setting in the mix RGB so let's get a mix RGB right here pop it right there and then we'll take the second object we'll take the object coordinate and do it here now if you've seen a lot of my shading tutorials I use this a whole lot uh, so if you bring the factor all the way to one you're only seeing these two if you bring your factor all the way to zero you're seeing this Musgrave texture so what we need to do is bring our factor kind of close to here and to make them kind of interact together we're gonna change it from mix over here to subtract. And what that's gonna do is cause that kind of look. Now it's gonna cause that. Now we need to mess with the actual Musgrave texture. So we're gonna go from BFM to ridged multifractal. Now we're getting close to what we want. I'm gonna bring my scale over here to around uh, 60, like that. And now we're getting kind of a fingerprint pattern with this. And then we can play with this right here until you kind of get close to what we're looking for in terms of a fingerprint pattern. All right, so now we have these fingerprints, but I don't like the hard edge. It, it just doesn't look like a fingerprint. So what we need to do is kind of repeat the same system here where we're distorting things, but um, use a node to smooth everything out. Now, so if you've seen the dust tutorial, you'll know what I'm gonna do here, which is a white noise texture and pop that right here on the Musgrave texture. Now it's gonna do this crazy number. We need to get another mix RGB just like we did right here and put that right there and then we're going to take this object coordinate and put it right there and so now we're distorting the Musgrave um, along with everything else and then if you bring your factor over you'll start to smooth out those fingerprints and then you can see they're just way too bright you can just always fix that here with a color ramp pop the color ramp 
right here and we'll bring the white portion which I believe is going to be the white yes and then you can bring them down until you like the uh, the intensity of your fingerprints and you have a very uh, nice fingerprint set up and they are going to be kind of smeared and you can just change everything as you like um, to sort of eyeball the way you want your fingerprints to look and then you can smooth things out completely with the white noise just kind of distort it a little bit and now you have kind of smeared interesting uh, fingerprints that you can now mess with um, very important on the Voronoi texture make sure both of these the scale is the same um, and then we can pop on over here and say 0 0.001 on the fingerprint size makes it kind of small and now you have those fingerprints done procedurally without an image texture so you can scale it up scale it down have a lot of fun in your um, shading and there you go hope you learned something and thanks for watching